Oh, shoot. Just another thing to do. Another job on the boat. Wow, look at that. Pretty good easterly wind right now, which would take us north of this island, bit up the uh, chain here, and we're just gonna sail to the next little anchorage. So take advantage of this wind and get going. Warren wants me to film him. <laughs> but it's up like last night. I don't have to say that in the bedroom <laughs> unlike last night I liked this anchorage this is a beautiful anchorage yeah it's time to move on though yeah this was beautiful yesterday um, it was unreal it was calm it was yeah glassy. completely different place well I said last night I was like this is kind of like the calm before the storm yeah and last night I slept just so poorly Ooh. Um, the winds, they have what they call the Cosmos or Cormels. Cormels. Uh, it's rare in the winter months, but it, it, ha it happens often, and it happened last night. So we anchored. Oh, way too fast. Damn it. We anchored in this spot here specifically because the northerlies, so we're protected from the northerlies. Yet last night, the winds had shifted completely around the other side, and we were kind of being blown towards land. Um, and it was just choppy as could be. I think last night Lou and Steven lifted up anchor and left to go into La Paz. I couldn't take it. <laughs> um, but it was rough. It was sloshy and rocky. I did not sleep very well. So we're gonna just go check out and see another spot and take advantage of these westerly winds. Right? No, sorry, easterly, easterly winds. And sail up north a little bit. I'm letting Warren do all the work. We may have to reef. I would start off with a reef. Because it's so gusty with these lobes the way they are. Yeah, we might have to start off. I would say start off. Going, I'm going, I'm trying. Well, we're out and we have wind, but it is all over the place. It's fluky as <laughs> fluke. Yeah, it's real bad. I mean, it, it's 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 varying around 60 degrees, which is really weird, really odd. It usually doesn't vary that much, and so we're just gonna. The craziest line, but we'll probably get we'll up to another way. bay. Yeah, we're getting up that way. <laughs> so we'll definitely have to tack a couple times, but yeah. we'll get there and it's fun to sail. Yay! It's better than just sitting around. Although that bay was really beautiful. Oh, I, know, I just can't sit around. No, I gotta go. Let's explore. That's the that's our nature, you know? That's the that's our spirit, exploration spirit. Yep. All right. <laughs> I love ya.
prefer, gusty. I prefer just a consistent solid wind, but not these like massive gusts. Fantastic sale. We uh, had the winds participating with us all day. Yeah, that was fantastic. It even clocked around more to the south where we could raise our Down downwind wind. sail. All right. I still can't figure out what to call Downwind that. <laughs> sail? <laughs> no, but we sailed about 23 miles today and dropped the anchor just in time for passage beers, sunset, the whole shebang. And so we're going to hang out here for the next couple days. But it was great. Great sail. Do you want one? Um, maybe grab my net. Okay. Here. Okay. Let's go out to the island. Let's go see what we can find. Fishes. I hope so. <laughs> Fishes. Blown away. Right. Toss it. Here we go. Toss it. You did it. <laughs> okay, remember to hook our hook on the. On so. The oh, it's hard. <laughs> oh man. Oh god. I can't catch my breath. <laughs> oh. 
Oh. Do you think you should have gotten a thicker suit? Yeah. <laughs> He's diving in a one millimeter suit. I thought, I told him, I said, maybe you should go with the thick one. Despite the water being about 10 degrees colder than what we've gotten used to, we couldn't resist to see what was lurking below. We knew that the water was just going to get a little bit colder and a little more murky as the winter season grew, but we suited up and jumped in. You okay? Yeah, my mouth. Not perfect. Okay. cold but I finally got a fish not that he's not terribly big but that's definitely a meal for Eric and I yeah that's definitely a meal for Eric and I for sure that'll do so cut her up get it done
so I can't sleep. She was a pretty little liar who cut me deep. Cause she left me here alone. Now my bed feels just like cobblestone. Oh. Oh, my love. Oh. Good morning. Hot, hot Normally I wouldn't be so excited to see it be so windy, but we're heading south and it's a northerly right now and it's really strong, so we should have a great downwind sail up this morning. Good, but first a coffee is cold. Yeah, first this. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It is so windy. We started with the asymmetric up and it was too much for it. We had to take it down. Was actually a pain in the butt because we're getting like 28 knots true and we were traveling at eight knots so the, we were at 20 knots apparent it's just too much for that big sail so we had to take that down in a gust and look at it out it's chilly and breezy but we are flying so we have just the jib out now and that's probably what we'll use for the rest of the day since it's so crazy pretty strong and probably just on the brink of us being able to use it. 
And what had happened is, well, here, I'll show you. I'll show you. Yeah. Here's what happened. See the holes? Not good. Not good at all. And they run all the way from top to the bottom of this entire sail. I noticed when we lifted the sail that these existed and they came out of seemingly nowhere. And so after we pulled this thing out today, now that it's calmed down, I think we know what happened. The winds were so great that when we raised it, instead of me pulling the sock up and it going up all as a system, the wind was ripping the sail open and it, it took the sock. This is the bottom of the sock. It jammed this thing to the top. It just flew open in a hurry. And the rope that is used to lift this thing up put a rope burn is essentially what this is. It looks like a rope burn. Show, see if there's like a spot. I don't know if you can tell or if it, yeah. I mean, it, it does look like a little bit of a rope burn. Yeah. And so that's, that's bad. Yeah, that runs all the way. That's a rope burn. And I think that happened from this thing being jammed open so quickly. Shoot, just another thing to do, another job on the boat. Wow, look at that. Thanks again for watching another We Sail episode. We hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, let us know. Be sure to subscribe and also follow along with our current adventures on both Instagram and Facebook. Cheers, everyone.